uh, going down to the to the floor, if you will, that we have our mud drum that is along here, and there's a refractory that goes over top of that. All we're doing there is prote protecting the joint where the tube meets the drum itself. We don't want to have any excess heat there. That's the seal part of the the pressure vessel. Same thing on the top. Mm -hmm. Uh, it also seals uh, the, the, these ligaments here are going up there. They don't tie into the drum, so it seals air seals to keep combustion air from going out and short circuiting out through the stack. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, when you say seal, because um, when you're looking at the walls and the, and the tubes inside what you call the furnace, then everything is sealed. Yeah, it, this is the we, this technology came out you know 30 years ago and everybody has gone to it now and the reason being is, is emissions. Uh, the, the old technology just had these tubes butted against one another, so you always had gaps in them and you would create CO because you'd short circuit between here and the stack and just unburnt gases go right out the stack, creating CO. Okay. And so to make the boiler more efficient and, and to keep the emissions down, now they're seal welding ligaments to the tube itself and then when the uh, boiler is put together at the factory, we seal weld these ligaments together so it's a completely sealed furnace, no chance of combustion gases going out the stack and short circuiting ovens. Okay.